know. Have you ever been to China? Um, I've never been to China before, but it's one of the countries that I would love to visit. No, but I have a family member that has my, my mother. No, please. I haven't. Never. I've never been to China. What is your opinion about China? Well, when, when, I, when I hear China, or when, when somebody mentions China, the only thing that comes to my mind is uh, your action movies. The action movies in China. I mean, the way the, the, there's, there's, there's a kind of conversation that happens, it sparks up a brawl and they start fighting. You know what I mean? Like, it, get, it, it, it reminds me of the likes of Jet Li and Jackie Chan and all those people. I mean, that's what comes to my mind when I. I hear China. My opinion about China is they are one of the fastest growing countries in the world. What do I think of China? I mean, I believe China is a great country that has a lot of history to it. And then um, I believe that like, they've been able to achieve a lot in the last few years. I would say the last, like, the last two or three um, decades here in the sense of um, like, the fact that they've been able to you know, like, come from a country that was basically very poor to a country that is doing so well at the moment so i think yeah I, I'll, I'll give i'll give them a lot of credit here for the fact that they've been able to achieve so much within the last 30 to 40 years yeah um first of all i had a negative opinion about them until my mom started going there and then i realized that it was wrong at first everybody used to say that oh cheap quality stuff comes from that 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 side like things are not like you know f good quality but then i realized that it's not that that's not it they just produce as manufacturers so if you tell them what you want to do they will do that for you Yes, so that's just it, and then I, that changed my opinion on them. There are a lot of Chinese enterprises here in Ghana right now, a lot of Chinese projects going on here in Ghana right now. What is your opinion about that? Well, f f firstly, I think, I think the Chinese have evolved uh, their way ahead of, of us here in Ghana when it comes to technology and, and businesses. I mean, I know Chinese are, are more technological people, they, they, they thrive on technology. So, I mean, in the introduction of businesses in Ghana, it, it's a plus for us, and that is if it's going to employ Ghanaians to work, because probably we don't have much training about this Chinese technology and all that. But I mean, with them investing in our businesses here, I think I think it's a plus for us. But I just hope that um, it, it still leaves us our core values as Ghanaians, that they don't take whatever we have here and add to theirs, because what has, what's, what 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 is in Ghana belongs to Ghanaians. So that's, what, that's the only thing I think about that. But aside that, I think it's a plus for us. Uh, well, I, I don't have any problem with that because we have Indians all over Ghana. We have Lebanese people who have settled here, speak their language. I don't, I don't have any problem. Chinese coming? Fine. I'm, I've heard a lot about them and I've read a lot about them. They seem to be different kind of people um, that... You know, they work really hard. I've heard that even at the age of 100, people are still working. Maybe there are a few things you can pick from them. They buy, they make their own things, buy and use what they make. Maybe we could learn a few things from them. Maybe could, they could teach us. So. Are you trying to say Ghanaians don't use the made in Ghana goods or something? I'm an example. I don't always use made in Ghana stuff. We don't always because some of our colleagues don't, our fellow Ghanaians don't do the right thing. They deceive us sometimes others do the right thing so if you do something that's of quality and it's your Ghanaian I'll purchase it well I feel that it really depends in what in what way they move if they're willing to um, integrate themselves be a part of us you know marry our women settle in the communities that's fine but we, and so there's so there's two kinds of Chinese that are moving to Africa right now in my opinion there's those who integrate well into the community they get Kenyan friends they you know they adapt our ways and we actually find we have a lot in common but there are also those who create their own little silos so they come they come almost like um, you know they're recolonizing us and that is our he fear here as Africa is that they're coming, they're creating their own cities, they're creating their own apartment complexes where no black people can go, they're creating their own restaurants where no black people can go and so it really makes us wonder their true objective and motive and we hope they won't be like our former colonizers. Um, I mean I personally don't have any problem with the fact that Chinese people are moving here. Um, the only problem is that I think Ghana is too small, we can't host the whole of China in this country because considering a country that has about um, is it about nearly two billion 
nearly two billion people, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, Ghana, Ghana would be too small for for China. But personally, I do not have any problem with Chinese people coming to Ghana as long as you know they abide by the rules, they abide by the laws that is in the country. I do not have any problem with that. Yeah. Uh, I have mixed feelings about it because uh, so many Chinese are coming to Kenya and most of them are taking our jobs because uh, now uh, Kenyan university graduates uh, most of many of them they don't have jobs and uh, it's unacceptable um, well uh, I think recently I saw in the news or on the internet that China has taken over a certain country is it Zambia or Namibia that they took over their is it electricity? I didn't read the full story. It was just a tweet. So I don't know if their coming to Ghana is also going to be the same thing or they are going to just take over all our businesses. I don't know if that is their intent. But if they are coming to Ghana for business purposes, for us to do a partnership, then that is absolutely cool. So my last question on social media, right? Everyone is saying that China is colonizing Africa at the moment. Do you think China is colonizing Africa? Well, China, firstly, is, is a country that is far ahead of us, and I think for the colonizing part, I, I, I think it's, it's just a business transaction going on. I mean, in every business, there's supposed to be, to be to be a profit, and for you to gain profit, you have to lose something. So I think what we are losing right now is is our, our sense of independence, doing things on our own. I mean, we don't we don't we can't do everything on our own. We need help from other countries, but how much help do we need from them? That is the question I'm asking. For China colonizing Ghana, I think Ghana is way ahead. We are beyond colonization. If you ask me, yeah. So I think it's it's not a matter of um, colonization. It's a matter of you know gaining more from our our. our our union with Chinese or the Chinese government. I don't think it's a matter of colonization at all. Social media is a open place. Everybody has his own opinion. So yeah. I think it's just a mindset. Um, I don't think they are colonizing anybody. Colonial days are way over. It's just a mentality. Um, I think they are just manufacturers, and then they are doing their bid. Some time ago, years past, Chinese were referred to as copycats. They're able to see, look at something, and how it's done. They can go back and. Do the reciprocate it. You understand me. I don't think they are colonizing us. I think they have the what's the word for it? They have the infrastructure to do the things that they are doing. Maybe we don't have it. Yes, they have a lot of people. There's cheap labor. Yeah, and they can afford to do it. Well, um, I can't. I can't say that for sure. Maybe they have their own agenda. They are, I mean, they are coming to this country maybe has, or this continent has a whole different agenda that we do not know, but I can't say that they are coming to colonize Africa or they are coming to re recolonize us. I, I can't say that for sure. To a certain extent, I do agree with what people are saying. And to a certain extent, I believe that if China will be able to succeed in recolonizing Africa, then it's to do with our own people. Because, I mean, the sad thing about Ghanaians is that Ghanaians are very, very nice people, really very hospitable, but at the same time, we allow foreigners to get away with, with, with murder. And if I say murder, you're lying. I mean, we allow foreigners to get away with everything that they do because, by nature, Ghanaians are very nice people. But on the other hand, I believe that, you know, There is a saying that nobody is above the law, you understand? So anyone that chooses to live in this country, they are supposed to abide by the laws of the country. So if someone, if we have a foreigner living in this country that thinks they are above the law, then in a way, I believe that unfortunately we do have a lot of corrupt politicians and then we do have a lot of corrupt people in the country. Yeah. So in a way, if Chinese are getting away with some of the things that they do, yeah, then it's to do with the fact that we've allowed them to get away with it. But then if I believe that the laws of the country is going to be effective enough, the police are allowed to do their job, people are supposed to um, abide by the rules. And then as long as people do that, yeah, everyone, everyone will be fine. Everyone will be fine. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir.